Hello everyone. Uh, we will continue with income tax. Uh, we are at employment income chapter. Uh, in this video, we will uh, look another aspect of uh, taxation. Now, so far we have been studying income tax. Now we know uh, what income tax is because I told you that it is a huge syllabus area. Now, apart from income tax, there is another type of tax as well, which we are going to study now. Now, income tax, we know that it is paid on the income, which is normal. Uh, you know, normally it is called income tax and almost everybody knows it. Now, if you live in the UK, then you might know uh, something called national insurance. But if you do not know, uh, if you do not live in the UK, then you might uh, struggle understanding what the national insurance is unless unless you have studied F6, then uh, you have studied a little bit about national insurance. Anyway, you might have forgotten. So national insurance basically is another type of tax which is paid by self-employed and employed and employer as well. So uh, if you are self-employed, if you do your own business, you will have to pay uh, something called national insurance. If you are employed, then you will also have to pay uh, uh, national insurance. Now, if you are an employer, so you you're doing business and you some people work for you then you will have to pay national insurance as well uh, on the salaries and benefits of your employees now why is it called national insurance and why not just pay income tax why government is collecting national insurance now government if you live in the uk you already know because uh, you are dealing it with the daily basis but if you do not live in the uk uh, then I will tell you a story about it that say for example if you do not work uh, if you do not work and you live in the UK then you can ask your government uh, to give you some benefits like you know job seekers allowance housing allowance medical allowance right so there are different sort of benefits like disability allowance so there are different benefits so if you do not work you can ask your government to give you some benefits so they will give you some money basically benefits means money so they will give you some money so that you can live so this is a tax which we people we who own the income we pay towards our national insurance so that we pay to our government then the government takes the money and spread that money towards the uh, you know eligible people who they think are eligible say for example who cannot work is disabled uh, or you know who, is, who can't find the job and people like that right so what happens is that we pay uh, as national insurance on our salaries and you know businesses business profits so government collects that money and then they spend that money on different people in shape of benefits correct so that's why a government is uh, seeking this money from us so go, we pay to government and then they spend on different people now the other type of tax which is the normal tax uh, they are also spent on us to be fair but the aim of that tax is a little different because uh, government uses that money to you know pay the salaries of parliamentarians to make the roads to make hospitals schools and etc so that tax is spread like spent like a different way uh, whereas national insurance is spent specially if we talk about specially it is spent uh, on different people in shape of benefits all right so let's go ahead and start our national insurance and uh, uh, how is it paid i'll just share the screen with you so that we can see it together <coughs> excuse me as you can see on your screen national insurance contribution and it's page number 18 uh, sorry step, uh, yeah 18 so it's national insurance contribution now there are different uh, kinds of national insurance contribution and uh, they are paid by different people now we will start from class one employee now there, there are two uh, uh, you know kinds of uh, national insurance contributions in class one so it's first one is class one primary and the second one is class one secondary so class one primary is paid by the employee i mean someone who works and class one employer is secondary one so it is paid by the boss so uh, if you if we look at the class one employee one uh, to be paid by employee on salary bonus and excess mileage allowance uh, received by employee so what happens is that if you are employee if you are working for a company so you receive salary and if you receive bonds and excess mileage allowance as well 
then you will have to pay class one uh, employee uh, national insurance contribution now what are, what are the rates on that from one pound to 8060 you don't have to pay anything and uh, from 8061 to 43000 pounds you will have to pay at the rate of 12% and above that you will have to pay at the rate of 2% if you are an employee <clears throat> so if you are an employer yeah, then you will have to pay class 1 secondary uh, national insurance contribution and it is also paid on salary bonus and excess mileage allowance and uh, what happens is here uh, the, uh, from one pound to 8,012 you don't have to pay anything and above that you will have to pay uh, at the rate of 13.8 percent all right now what happens is that sometimes you have more than one employer you could have only one employee so out of your total employment whatever you pay towards the salary uh, towards the national insurance contribution uh, there is an exemption you can deduct 3,000 pounds out of total national insurance contribution now say for example if I am an employer and I have three employees working for me if I calculate national insurance contribution which is class uh, one secondary uh, contribu uh, national insurance contribution so I will have to calculate I have three employees I'm paying that much salary so from one pound to eight thousand twelve uh, sorry eight one one two uh, I don't have to pay anything that uh, anything and above that I will have to pay at the rate of 13.8 percent so if I make the total of three employees national insurance contribution I can deduct three thousand uh, pounds out of the total all right so that is exemption which is available to employer next one is a class 1a it is also paid by employer but it is paid on the benefits now benefits if you pay any benefits to the employee you will have to pay class 1a uh, as well now the rates are given to you it, it is a standard rate at the rate of 13.8 percent a class 2 and class 4 are paid by self-employed now class 2 is a standard rate which is 2.80 per week uh, so it is just a standard rate 2.80 per week uh, however you can claim an exemption uh, if accounting profits are not more than 5965 or you receive a state pension uh, then you will not have to pay uh, this 2.80 uh, per week uh, class 4 is uh, also paid by self-employed but it is paid on the uh, profits so it is paid uh, from one pound to 8060 you don't have to pay nothing and uh, from 8061 to 43,000 pounds you'll have to pay at the rate of 9% and above that you will have to pay uh, at the rate of 2% right now there is an example on the next page if you come page number 19 please actually there are a couple of examples here uh, we will do the co comprehensive example in and uh, in the next video one of the next videos uh, but we will do this uh, NIC uh, example which you can see on your screen now <coughs> this example please try to do it yourself I will just uh, go through with you please uh, keep your notes in front of you so that you can check the rates of uh, a national insurance contribution so it says that uh, there are two people one is Susan and another one is Hadrick uh, one is employed on a salary of 20,000 pounds and other one is uh, just doing a business and their trading profit is 20,000 pounds so could you please tell me that uh, who is uh, I mean the Susan and Hadrick's national insurance contribution for the tax year 1617. So calculate the national insurance contribution payable uh, by Susan and Hadrick for the tax year 1617. So what will happen here is I won't do this on the board. I'll just tell you that what what will happen. Uh, Susan runs her own business, so she is running her own business, uh, and had taxable trading profits of 20,000 pounds in the tax year 1617. So she has trading profits of 20,000 pounds so she will have to pay class 4 uh, class 4 NIC uh, on the uh, on the trading profits but on top of that she will also have to pay a class 2 because she is self employed so she will have to pay class 2 as well which is uh, 280 per week and because her you know taxable profits are more than 5965 so definitely she will have to pay and the second one Hadrick is employed on a salary 
on an annual salary of 20,000 pounds in taxes 16, 17. So she, uh, he's uh, employed, he's not uh, self-employed, he's employed. So he will have to pay class one employee uh, national insurance contribution, uh, which is the first one uh, on the previous page. All right. So, I mean, now you can calculate it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right? That's it for this video and uh, I will uh, see you in the next video with a couple of examples. So we will do a comprehensive example uh, which you can see on page 19 of the uh, lecture notes and just before the NIC example. Uh, page 19 there is an example. Uh, we'll do this comprehensive example and before comprehensive example we will also do example which you can see on uh, page number 14 which examines just basic benefits excuse me, basic benefits of employment income. So we'll do, uh, first we will do example which examines the basic benefits uh, on page number 14. Then we'll do comprehensive example. Please try to have a go at it and uh, then watch me do it in the next video. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Then.